What's good tribe? I'm back with another pick a card reading. In this video, I'm gonna be channeling the message for your path to success, your path to destiny. So I have four different well-known people here. Um, some of you may know most of these people. Some of you could know a couple of them. The point of this is to choose the card that you feel most inspired to. Some of you will be drawn to two different decks, which is totally fine, but I do feel like the more you narrow it down, the more personal the message will be. So in this reading overall, I will be channeling your success, your path to success. So whoever you choose here, there's a reason why you're inspired by them and whoever you're inspired by the most is who you should go with. Now, if there's someone else that you're secondarily inspired by and it's really, really exciting you, you should listen to that deck as well. So if you guys are here, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. Also, if you guys are looking for rare exclusive readings, you can find that at the tarot chest. So I will be releasing another video here soon, and there's only going to be 333 of these readings available. So if you guys are interested in collecting or owning any of these tarot readings, you can find them at thetarotchest.com. All right, so pretty much anything you guys are looking for, you know you can find that in the description box below. So this message is all about your path to success, what's destined for you, and we have four amazing, talented, successful people here that you guys can choose from. All right, so I'll see you on the other side. All right, if you guys were drawn to deck one, Bill Gates, this is your message. All right, I feel like if you guys were drawn to Bill Gates, obviously we all know he's very successful. Okay, he's very successful when it comes to his finances, his resources. But what I'm picking up is that you could be an expert or have a lot of expertise in something. Something that comes very easy to you that does not come very easy to others. You could be overlooking it. I'm hearing my spirit guides are telling me you are definitely overlooking it. There are some things that you process very quickly that people around you just simply do not. If you and when you see this, you will become very fruitful from this. So it's giving me teacher, it's giving me education, it's giving me expertise, it's giving me wisdom, it's giving me technology. Once again, wisdom. I also feel like you are very charismatic, meaning people love you. So there is no competition. We have compatibility has no competition in charity. So I also get philanthropy coming through if you guys were drawn to this. All right, I wanna get some energy for the people who are here, deck one, just before I get into it. Obviously we know who Bill Gates is, but I am sensing that it is much deeper than just what you see financially and abundantly. So there, there is this attachment or this knowing that you have that there will be abundance in your life and you are correct that there is wealth in your life, okay? Give me, who am I speaking to? Give me the energy of the person here for deck one. Thank you, okay? We have Ace of Swords. So you could bring a lot of clarity to people. You have a lot of intellect. You could be overlooking a lot of this intellect, all right? I see that this intellect sometimes could get the best of you because we have the Eight of Swords here. So you're really freeing yourself from doubt that this is even possible. I'm hearing you will achieve financial success like no one around you has ever. So you are overcoming a lot of fears, doubts, and disbeliefs that the people around you maybe not have even gotten to because you are going to accomplish more. You are expanding beyond the people that you are even inspired by. So I see that the path here to this success, it's going to require you to see it from a different perspective here with the Ace of Swords. Something is forging in your life currently that is helping you free yourself from lack mentality. To have a new way of seeing success and abundance. Okay, yeah, we have five of pentacles. We have the lack card here. 
Okay. So you're drawn to Bill Gates. You are, I'm hearing very clearly, you are here to be abundant. I say this often, but that's why feeling broke, feeling lack, feeling like you don't have enough, that doesn't feel good. And that's because it's not who you are. What feels good is God communicating with you, God speaking. What feels bad is the devil, <laughs> if we could say the devil, okay? It's really not. It's more so just those low thoughts that you get into of even being able to survive. This seems like such a big leap, Bill Gates, when you have been dealing with such energy. I'm hearing your life can change at any moment, and it is getting ready to change. So your path is overcoming a lot of financial burdens, stability. Discovery of yourself is your path. And you're discovering that you are not, you do not enjoy being in lack, having without, not knowing where to go. I'm hearing some of you are even meant to have multiple properties. So, so you're expanding. So they're saying get over the little that you have to pay for where you are now because where you're going is you're going to be paying on multiple houses. So let go, release money and allow your resources to work for you. You, your path to success is going to be something that you're very inspired to do. Okay. The queen of wands here, you are multifaceted. It's not going to be just one, which is why maybe you were going back and forth between many different decks here. You could be a Leo, you could be an Aries, you could be a Sagittarius. You do not have to be, but you, you are embodying the energy of fire, passion. And whatever it is that you are passionate and love to do is going to bring you a lot of success. Let's get some more energy here, okay? It will take a while. It may feel like it will take a while, but a while is not long. Before you know it, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I knew I was going to get here. I just knew I was meant to be here. I knew I was meant for more. I knew I was meant to have more. So your path to success is slow and steady wins the race with the nine of pentacles. But when it picks up is when you are going towards what you love with the nine of cups. You are going to be teaching a lot of people through just your experiences. You're very creative. You have a, a lot of creative abilities. Nurturing these creative abilities over time is going to bring you a lot of happiness and a lot of emotional fulfillment. Lastly, we have justice here, Libra energy. So it's going to be bringing you justice. This is where you were here with the Eight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles in lack. Spirit had to step in and intervene by giving you a new perspective with the Ace of Swords. This is a, a life that you never even knew that you could live for yourself. This is something you've never thought you could even accomplish. So imagine me saying, hey, you're the next Bill Gates. It could be pretty nerve wracking when you know who Bill Gates already is. Because then you start to compare yourself. I'm hearing there is no comparison. You are meant to be abundant. Let's see what your overall theme is here for your path. We have the five of acorns challenge and growth. So yeah, you've overcome a lot. But many will ask you how you overcame it. It also gave you the strength to become who you are with the queen of wands. Your passions and what you love with the knight of cups is what's going to bring you justice in your finances. So there has, could have been a lot of competition in the past, could have been a lot of growth, feeling like you had to work hard, feeling like you had to do better than others. This path is for you. There's no other path that is for you, such as this path. And this path, page of shells, has to do with your emotional fulfillment with the cups here, how you feel, feeling in love, feeling inspired, feeling intuitively excited here with the page of shells. This new life 
that is forging, you'll know when you're on this path because you'll feel very inspired. You'll feel very creative. You'll feel like you're in the zone. Ideas will be flowing to you. You will, you process whatever this is very easily. The world, fulfillment, celebration. So you are here to live a fulfilling life and your path of doing that has looked like a lot has looked like a challenge like has felt like it's been a lot very overwhelming having to free yourself from so much so much doubt is what i'm hearing so much doubt you have been doubting yourself in the past you will no longer doubt whatever this is that you love and enjoy you will not doubt it it will move very slowly because you're not putting pressure on it but it will pay off with the knight of cups here I just want to get some clarity on the Knight of Cups. Thank you. Two of Swords. Yeah. So this is coming after a decision. All right. You are not meant to live a boring life. You are meant to live a life that keeps you excited, keeps you adventurous, keeps you childlike. Okay. I'm even hearing you are not even meant to age. You are meant to be youthful. So you are meant to experience a lot of fruitfulness, very abundant, a lot of freedom in your life, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of traveling doing whatever it is that you desire to do, seeing through the eyes of a child where things were fun and imaginative and you can do what you want, go where you want, when you wanted. This is your life. This is the life that you are deeply desiring to live with the justice card and it will happen for you in this lifetime with the justice here. The only thing is the two of swords is you've had to make a lot of decisions and spirit keeps blindfolding you on purpose because you keep relying on your eyes physically rather than your spiritual eye, your imaginative eye. So a lot of things in your life could have felt unfulfilling and it's not just about the money. It's not about the money. The money is in the resources that you have is truly just a reflection of how you're feeling and you have not been feeling abundant. You have not been feeling this because of your circumstances. You've allowed your circumstances to tell you who you are rather than telling it who you are. You are coming up with Bill Gates energy. There's a reason why out of all four decks, you were drawn to Bill Gates. It's not just about the money. It's about the wealth, but he has a wealth of knowledge. He has a wealth of vision. He has a wealth of expertise. His wealth is not in his finances. And that's what you have to understand is that your wealth is not in your finances. It's within you. Let's see what that's about. Whoa, be candid. Look at this energy here with this blue. Blue mixed in with a little bit of the green here. The throat chakra, be candid, speak up. You could be meant to speak. Okay, you could be a teacher, once again, an educator. I'm an educator. So many people, there's a different way of educating every single thing. Your journey is can be the journey for many others as well. You just sharing that. So speaking up is very important. Your throat chakra is very important. How, how you feel is important. So I want to see why this throat chakra is here. Give me the energy for deck one. Who am I speaking to right now? We have the dove spirit in the back. Who am I speaking to? I'm speaking to, oh my gosh. You guys, this is crazy. This koi fish thing has been following me around. That is intense because I just literally reacted on my reaction channel, it's energy to Taylor Swift's new song, Lavender Haze. 
and there were koi, koi fishes. So I've been looking up koi fishes last night and today, and obviously it's not a coincidence. Good luck, fortune, prosperity, abundance. There is always enough. It's, this is insanity because I just looked this up. There's so many different koi fishes. They all stand for something different. And overall, prosperity, 36, 36 can be very important. March 6 can be very important. 369, okay, Nikola Tesla, Elon Musk, inventions. There is so much here for you to do. And it's the world is your oyster, deck one is what I'm hearing. And when you're getting into that creative zone, when you're getting into that feeling of excitement and celebration and inspiration, and it just makes you want to talk about it, whatever that is, is bringing you prosperity, good luck, and fortune. It's following you. But somehow you've been focused on this five of pentacles, lack, stability, not having enough, feeling like there's not enough. There's always enough. That's what you're here. This is your path of abundance. So you have to walk through this path and see that there's enough. And so you're actually going through it. That's the only card I'm going to pull. So you have a good luck on you. Um, you could also be Aries. You don't have to be, but I'm definitely getting that there's like a good luck of prosperity, of fortune around you that surrounds you. It follows you. But if instead of chasing your dream, right? Because we don't chase. What would we be chasing the dream for? That's like chasing our hands. We're in this dream. And all you have to do is wake up to who you are. You are abundant. You're abundant in what you say. What comes out your mouth is abundant. Stop looking at abundance in just coins. All right? Divine support. So you have divine support that's guiding you to this. You're not here to do this alone. You have these desires and they've been given to you for a reason, almost like clues to who you are in this life. And every desire gives you a little bit more information. Bill Gates, okay, out of all people, you're drawn to Bill Gates. Why? And like I said, it's not just, he's abundant. And it's not just in his finances. He is abundant in so much more than just that. So much to the point where he gives. So you are a giver. So when you stop giving, when you feel like, oh, I can't give because I don't have enough, that's not you being you. Think about how much you're not being you because of what your finances are saying. So taking control, taking your power back, understanding this is coming from divine support. You're not here to do this by yourself. I believe I'm worthy of feeling good and wanting more for others puts me in an energy of abundance, okay? So we have two huge cards here. Wanting more for others puts me in a state of abundance. So once again, abundance, wealth of knowledge, resources, information is something big. Online courses, where's your online course? Where's your audios? Where's your digital products? Where's your eBooks, digital technology? Oh man, deck one. Deck one, aren't you lucky to be here? Aren't you just so lucky to get all of this gold? Because let me tell you, your abundance may not be in your service in labor. What's easy and natural to you? And some of you, it's digitally. And once again, what does he do? He has software. So really just imagine that Bill Gates creates a software one time and can sell it for the rest of his life forever. It's a digital product. So the abundance is coming from working smarter, right? Not harder. And wanting more for others, has, having a desire to give. What do you want to give? What do you enjoy so much that you want to share puts you in that state of abundance? So last but not least, I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. So do you believe you're worthy of this? Because doesn't this make you feel good? Does all of this make you feel good? Obviously, until your thoughts start caving in and sabotaging things. Doesn't this feel good to know, okay, prosperity, okay, all right, I am meant for abundance. That's why I desire things to be this way. That's why I love this. That's why I love that. So your path is 
learning also that there's enough. This, this is what makes you abundant, is feeling like you have enough. What does someone who have, has enough feel like? They feel good. So, if you, so once again, you're shifting your vibration, deck number one. So if this is what you were drawn to, your path to success has been overcoming many doubts, many mental things. It's all mentally how you are feeling. It's affecting how you feel. Your, what you believe is affecting how you feel. How you feel affects how you're vibrating. How you vibrate is based on what you're attracting. If you vibrate in lack, you will not attract abundance. You are literally saying, I am lackful. Therefore, abundance will not come. You are claiming that this is who you are. So yeah, there's some deep messages here. Definitely, if you guys are looking for more higher self-consciousness content, you can find that at I'mReadyToWakeUp.com. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number two. What's good, deck number two? If you guys were drawn to Takashi Mirakami, this is your reading. So first and foremost, if you guys do not know, Takashi Mirakami is a designer, artist, stylist, slash brand creator. Okay, so if you guys were drawn to this, obviously it's for a reason. This is also a very inspiring person. This person has worked with Kanye, the Kardashians, Chris Brown, pretty much beyond. I want to say that, but I don't want to. I'm not too sure. This person has worked with many artists, styling, fashion, artistic endeavors, creative passions, color is important. Okay, it's giving me like 3D vibes in the sense of psychedelic, very out, like very different. You're very different, very creative. You are meant to be very creative. Your creative passions are what's going to bring you the most success. I hear you could be a trendsetter. The difference between style and brand is copyright. So you're not just about the, it's not just about the style. It's about your brand. You will have a certain touch to everything that you do or wear. Even if you're not really into fashion, this is like someone who's very crafty, someone who can put something together and it's just very artistic, okay? So you can change lanes. You're a very different person. So you can do what, so many different things. You never know. You might end up making clothes for pets and it just takes off. Like that's, Spirit is giving me this example because Spirit is saying it's easy. It's easy for you. Like do what's easy for you. It doesn't matter how silly it sounds because Takashi Murakami is someone who is really outside the box here. He's the one with all the smiley faces. A lot of you guys might recognize his work, smiley face and like the sunflowers, very different, okay? It may even seem childish to some people, but he is a multimillionaire. Very, very successful in what he's doing, like painting, all of that stuff. His house is very different. Like it's a whole artistic set, okay? So you guys could just really be into that. Now, let's get the current energy of exactly your path, okay? So you guys will go through a lot, but you'll understand like going through a lot is what's making you see yourself more. For some reason, you're having some issues seeing how strong you are, how capable you are. So you have been through a lot, but you never quit and you can never give up. Like you have this sense of persistence about you um, that was given to you as a tool or some type of gift on this quest. So it's like you will go through many renewals. You'll go through many ego deaths because you're nothing. Like nothing, nothing relates to you really. Like you're so different that you have your own style. You have your own expression, your own brand. Okay. It, it could even be music. You just have your own style of art and your perspective is going to be acknowledged is what I'm hearing. So eight of shells, you have to walk away from a lot of things that are not fulfilling, that are not you, because guess what? Look at, if this is your energy here, the sunflower, <laughs> the smiley face, anything that's not in this vibration, you're going to have to walk away from. So yeah, it may seem like you went through so many different phases of discovering who you are because you're still discovering that. Look at this stamina, determination, but you have so much endurance you have so much strength and spirit is saying like, if you could just use that for what you love, it's a wrap. 
but you're using all of your strength and endurance in maybe caring for others, maybe trying to be successful, trying to be this, okay, when you already are it. And we also have the Knight of Shells, which is something that the first deck, Bill Gates, was a part of as well is something that you're passionate something that you love to do is going to be the path for you with the knight of shells the knight of cups here you're going to move it's going to move very quickly the things that you're passionate about the things that you're artistically involved in out of this box out of the box is what you're here to do so if a museum's cash register rings answer it so museum art I mean, I can't even think of the things that you guys are going to create because it's so weird, but it's so cool. And so it's like you might get into uh, glass sculpting. Like there's just so many things like I'm sensing. There's there's a journey here that you're discovering yourself in and what you're taking. So let's really dive into this reading and see what is the path to this success. To, to, Takashi Murakami is also known for trademarking, brand writing, brand copywriting. Um, so it's, it's like a working smarter situation as well. Working smarter in the sense of copywriting, trademarking, licensing. All right. It might, it's not, it might not be the way it's not going to be the way you think it is. It's going to be happening in a very artistic, miraculous way. <laughs> okay. We have the ace of cups here. Let's get some more information here. We have the Five of Swords with Takashi Mirakami, the people who are drawn to this deck. All right. So your independence, your stability is very important because for some reason you have to be able to focus on you and what you love to do in order to even get into this energy. This new path with the Ace of Cups here. People could be very important to your journey. Love can be very important to your journey. But what I'm sensing is this new path you're going to take, whereas deck one, it was the Ace of Swords. You guys got the Ace of Cups, which means this next path is really focused on your heart. Something about your heart leading you. All right. Deck one is more of like the logic. The int intellect was leading them. Deck two, I'm sensing your heart, your heart has to be turned on for this life that you're creating so you can't shield yourself um you can't hide yourself as far as what you love to do and your love in general okay this might be the biggest conflict that you have here with the five of swords is just you're your biggest enemy and as that voice becomes your cheerleader and less of an enemy you will find that you are the successful person that you believe you are independently there's something about you not needing anyone to do this. You don't need someone to publish you, sign you, do all this for you. You are independently stable on your own and you will be able to do that for yourself. There's a sense of you doing it on your own that's very important. And I do believe you have to be in a space of feel like you're safe, stable. Think about this energy for you to create. What energy you have to be in to just create, to just be like, huh, I want to create something fun today. Well, everything might have to be taken care of for you to just relax for you to even be in this. So stability, independence, financial stability is very important. It's like if you can, if once the situation improves and you feel confident in providing for yourself, something is taking off and this journey is going to be less work, more enjoyment, more play. And guess what? It only benefits you because look at this. To be in this energy, you have to be playful. You got to be in that energy of passion and playfulness to even be into your true version of your creative self. But things are getting ready to move very fast for you. We have the steady fastness. All right. I feel like maybe you guys could move fast. Let's get why this card is here. Steadfastness. Steadfastness. Why is steadfastness here? Thank you. Yeah, Knight of Wands, moving too fast. And the reason why a spirit is saying you're going to have support on this journey. You're going to have a team. You might have an assistant, a manager, people who are really going to believe in what you do. They're going to love what you do. Imagine him like showing like the smiley face, flower, like clothing and stuff to people. And they're like, oh, what is that? Like these people are going to see your work and they're going to be like, oh, my gosh, 
Like they're going to be obsessed, <laughs> obsessed. So the spirit is saying you're trying to do everything on your own, moving so quickly. Knight of Wands, hold up, hold up. Do what you enjoy, but know that there's support here. You don't have to do it on your own. So if there is a pit stop, it is because spirit is bringing in support and help. All right. With the three of pentacles, we know that it is a very strong, there's something about three people that's very important. Like there's a, there's a three here that could really be important to your journey. Three people and you're one of those three. So decision. All right, let's see what decision do we have here. We have the three of pentacles. So you have support on this journey. You will be very supported. You will be individ individually successful. Independently by yourself, you will have a lot on your own. All right, the biggest defeat that you've had to overcome to getting to this success is you being in your own head. Five of swords is you're conflicted within yourself. No one's even focused on you. It's all within you. And then Ace of Cups, overflowing, your heart overflowing with love for your life, what you do. Okay. What decision do they have to make that's leading them? Thank you for two, because I was going to ask for two. Yeah, Six of Swords, got to gotta move away. Got to move away. They're in the boat. They're moving away. And look at this, right after the Five of Swords. You got it. You're moving away out of this this energy here and what are you moving towards your decision is eight of pentacles look at this moving towards right before the nine you're right there nine of pentacles you're almost there but you're realizing that the hard work all that sh all that work that you're putting into it if you can just enjoy more and create more let that be your work create more then you're going to see that your creations are going to pay off because this is who you are so being practical, trying to get here is just not the route. This is a very artistic endeavor. It will not make sense. It will flow naturally. So I feel like even with the six of swords, I feel like that's why you're on the boat. Okay. You're, you're, it's a flow. It's meant to be a flow and the ocean is carrying you. The ocean is the universe. There's something very important about your connection with the universe here. This has been a disconnect in your life really connecting and hearing from the universe every day. And this is not to tell you what to do. This is like literally your confidant, your best friend. There is no major arcanas here. Okay, tell me why that is. Give me another card, deck two. Okay, there we go. There's the major arcana. I knew I felt it. Scorpio, Leo energy is what I'm getting. Um, the tower. Yeah. And so something's getting ready to happen. If it hasn't already, a tower moment is going to be very pivotal in this lifetime. Tower is all of a sudden comes out of nowhere. The universe intervenes. And that's probably because your path has been very practical, very centered around this. And so if this is who you are, spirits like, hold up, that's not what you want. You think it's what you want because this and this and that. So the tower is definitely a revelation that is going to occur if it hasn't already in your life and you're going to be like whoa this is not my life i'm meant to be like i really want to do this i really want to do that that's where the biggest shift is happening in your life that i'm seeing here when it comes to changing your focus into doing what you love so let's see how you're going to manifest this manifesting is the creative process of aligning with the energy of the universe to co-create your experience that elevates your spirit and the spirit of the world Okay, so what you do is going to benefit others, not just yourself. All right, so that's why I feel like spirit is also supporting you. Understand that you're co-creating. You're not doing this on your own. So it's this is the creative process of aligning with the energy. How do you know when you're aligned with the energy? You feel good. You feel passionate. You feel excited. You're creating something. You're doing something. And you feel so exhilarated. This is your answers. These are your clues. In stillness, I receive. So once again, there's something about really your energy, right? And, and having the right space to even be able to channel this energy. I feel like there's more for you to discover about yourself, deck two, a deeper, deeper discovery. Okay, give me who they truly are. Friendship, 
fun, unity, and play. So once again, that playfulness is very important. That three, that three could be the friendship that you are bringing in. Support, I just said that. Support, fun, play, unity. So this is telling me that your path is meant to be very childish, childlike, ex inspired, ex you know, like animation, cartoons, visual, graphics, any of that stuff could be for you. All right. So who you truly are is someone who is very supportive. So whatever it is that you're doing, you're providing a lot of support. You're providing a lot of unity, harmony with people around you. Death and rebirth. There you have it. And this is what I was saying. The tower card is coming to give you a sense of a ego death for you to really wake up to who you truly are. You have been operating a lot of, out of your dark shadow self, which is your fear lack because I have to, because I should, because they want me to. And this new path revelation, the tower is, Hey, you're here to do something way more than that. And guess what? You get to live your childlike dream. You get to create, you get to express, you get to style, you get to try new things. You don't know what you might get into. And that's the thing. It's a discovery. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to be a journey. So if you guys were drawn to deck number two, this is your reading in your path to success. If you guys are looking for more content, you can find it at I'mReadyToWakeUp.com or rare tarot readings about your psychic abilities at TheTarotChess.com. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number three. What's good, deck three? So if you guys were drawn to Kim K, this is your reading. So obviously... You could be an influencer. You could be meant to be in the spotlight. If you were connected to Kim K out of all four of the decks, it's a reason. And I'm hearing very clearly to be open to receiving the compliments and the good parts of you in this reading because I see that you guys are going to be overcoming a lot of fears about yourself, fears about being good enough. All right. Cause you're coming up as a star and I don't want you to think, Oh yeah, of course I picked Kim K. Yes. You picked it out of all four of the decks. So it says, act like the camera's always rolling, hold a mirror up to society and play with the filters. No topic is off limits, LLC. So outside of this, I'm picking up that you are just simply meant to have your own business, have your own found of success just through who you are, okay? Let's just say even if you're not a camera person, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, it doesn't matter because I'm not a camera person, but I'm still doing it. So it's like, who are you and what do you truly desire and don't allow your fears to convince you out of them so let's just see what this path has looked like for you we've had the seven of feathers all right lots of lack of trust here um just maybe with the people around you maybe in just simply believing in yourself all right we have justice libra energy here clarity and truth all right. And we also have two of shells harmony. So I want to grab another. Can you give me the energy of deck two? Who's here? Who is here for Kim K? Thank you. Death. Okay. So we have Scorpio energy on the board. Let's get one more. Who is? Whoa. It's a lot going on here. We're going to take them, though. Happened for a reason. So these will be your guys' cards. We have the Seven of Swords twice here. So there's a lot of deception in the sense of you and your, with yourself. Battling within yourself is what I'm hearing. And that's why the ego death has to happen here. Because you're moving towards wealth. You also, I'm hearing, have a very successful partnership with someone in this lifetime i'll describe them i'll let you decide whether or not you're currently with them if you already on a relationship whoever this person is they match your energy they match your greatest version of you they are mirroring you entirely you guys are both coming into this independently successful 
All right, you guys could also be coming from another deck is what I'm hearing, fashion, styling, makeup, expression of beauty, expression of physicality. All right, it's something that I see that is going to be in your life. However, not getting caught up too much in the physical is really what I'm seeing. But you guys have the two of cups here. We have a couple and we also have marriage. So we also have soulmates. You're meant to fall in love in this lifetime. All right, so Kim Kardashian, there's just pile three. This is a lot of energy. You are, you could be a fire sign. You don't have to be. You don't have to be a fire sign, but you are just a lot of energy who desires to express it. And these fears that you're overcoming within yourself, I see you're going to have justice and clarity of who you truly are, not allowing the world to tell you who they who you are and not waiting for the world to validate who you are. You must see this for yourself. So the death is happening, the ego death, who you used to be. You are meant to be seen. It doesn't matter if you're into it. <laughs> Something about you has an aura. And I do believe love plays a part in that. A harmonious union of aura. Of course, you're here. So you're connected to the light in some sense. You are meant for wealth, but I see that you and your partner will build it together. There's some type of empire. There's a castle. There's royalty. There's family. There's dogs. And guess what? You chose this card. Kim Kardashian, we're talking castles. We're, we're talking yachts. We're talking jets, houses. When will you stop and understand nothing happens for coincidence? You chose this for a reason, and it will happen in this lifetime. It will happen sooner when you allow it to happen. All you have to do is know what's going to happen. How do you know? You got to feel it, you know? I can't do too much teaching because it's like, this is your, your journey. And that's why the death is here. You are not even your body. So even your, you trying to be perfect before you get on camera or whatever it is, you're not even your body. You are so much deeper than that. Just allow it to play a role in your life. So I do sense that love is important. So you, I'm also hearing, if you guys were drawn to this card, you are meant to really find some type of independent stability financially for yourself, for you to feel empowered. But I'm telling you, my friend, you may not need it. You may marry into wealth. Whoever you're attracting already has wealth. Okay, so this is this is in it same thing with her and obviously publicity is around it. So it's in the spotlight. This here's the best part. You may feel like, you know what, I'm drawn to Kim Kardashian, but I don't know if I want to be famous. I don't want to be that. Guess what? Let's just say you don't want to be famous. You want to work and you just, you know, you want to make sandwiches for a living. You just want to chill, have a normal job, whatever. You will marry someone who's famous or will meet someone who's famous, whether they come in and they get a sandwich or whatever, it's destined, <laughs> like literally. And soon as you're seen with this person, you're famous. So once again, this can happen very instantly. And it's not gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna have a video and do all this and all. No, it doesn't matter where you are. You're destined for this. And this person's going to find you. We have justice here. So we have marriage. You do have a divine partner that plays a very big part in your success story. That's what you desire in this lifetime. And guess what? That's what they have. Royalty. We're talking about a family with a lot of money here. It's interesting because she has the West. So you could even be marry marrying a singer, an artist. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Deck three. Look at this, two, two. Your, your love life may inspire others. That may be what makes you successful. But just being you, no matter what you do, this is destined for you. You're a star. And no matter what you do, you will shine. So it doesn't matter where you're at. I love this for you, Deck 3. Because it's like, I know people are like, okay, Kim Kardashian, yes, I really, really want to do this. And it's like you doubt yourself. 
So now I have to tell you, okay, forget Kim. This is what you're destined to do. Okay. And and trust that there's a reason why there's inspiration behind this. She's just herself. She's just herself. Okay. Fulfillment. You're here to live a fulfilling life. Fulfillment feels like heaven. Feels like bountiful. It feels, just think about their life. People watch them because they're inspired by what they have. They're not saying anything. They're at dinners. They're at lunches. They're not saying anything. <laughs> Nothing. You come to this video, you hear three minutes of it, your entire life has changed, right? So there's different senses of fulfillment. And I'm sensing you already have this spiritual fulfillment. So imagine adding this onto it. Your life is just going to be like a fairy tale. That's what, what it's meant to be. But you have to trust it. Beginnings. This comes in a form of a new beginning. You could have been drawn to another deck. There's a new beginning and this is offering you fortune. You've been prepping. You've been prepping, you've been prepping, but you will have many resources of networking. Lots of people will know you. Look at this, three of cups, I can't make it up. Lots of people will know you. People is important. Influence, people, people, people. Connecting to people is what you're here to do. And it, oop, whoop, accidentally ran into this person who happens to be a billionaire and wants me to X, Y, and Z. So it's not gonna happen in a formula or a plan. It is happening in a very natural way. So you might as well just enjoy the ride because it's gonna happen. Three of Cups celebration, lots of people celebrating you, and a lot of people around you. You could even get paid to just simply show up because of your presence. Showing up to a certain event could be important for you. And once again, don't think of this so traditionally. Okay, this is, you're, you're different. Everything you do will not be like other people. So even you having to admit like this is the one, it's like you're, you're more evolved than Kim is. That's until, of course, I coach her. But you are way more in, evolved. So adding this on, I feel like you are going to, I'm also hearing you will help a lot of people with your influence. You know how she's getting into that, but I feel like you will do it with a genuine, pure heart. You will help a lot of people. All right, we have the Empress. Lots of creative energy. You love, I mean, your sensuality, everything about you is just like, it's beautiful. The Empress, this is what you're here to embody, your sensuality, your feminine side, your nurturing side, feeling beautiful, feeling beautiful, not looking but feeling beautiful. So you're also here to be a parent, a mother, okay? I'm seeing kids here. So you are definitely meant to do this. And we also have the rabbit, which is interesting because I just sense that you will, you will escape the matrix, meaning you will go above the system. You will not be stuck in the system. You will overcome that. You're overcoming that. You, like, you're gonna be free. You'll be able to do and live how you want in this life. We have Virgo energy, the hermit here. You guys have the most spiritual uh, arcana of cards that I've had in every single deck so far. The Wheel of Fortune, what did I say? It's, for, it's fortunate, it's destined. It's destined. It reminds me of when I was watching The Hoarders while my sister was watching it and I was just like catching a glimpse and the lady, this lady was on there and she was such a star. Like she was hilarious. It's like, damn, like you couldn't run away from your destiny if you tried. Like it's gonna find you and she's just she was literally hilarious and she was just a star and it's like you could tell like in her back in her day she was a star but she didn't follow it and now somehow she's on hoarders <laughs> and it's like she's still a star it's crazy it's like no matter what you do it's destined okay so it's like if you knew this was bound to happen you would relax you would enjoy you would allow you just be like damn i hit the freaking jackpot the moon Pisces energy. Look at all this major arcana. Spirituality. So imagine a Kim Kardashian, but a spiritual one. Like, that's crazy. And even if you're a male, it's the same exact concept. Being in the limelight, being seen, all right? Um, women enjoying the presence of your energy. So take that how it resonates. 
The moon is psychic abilities. You have a connection to your psychic intuition. You have a connection to your shadow self, which is what you've been overcoming as well. This is Pisces energy. So we have a lot of zodiacs on the board and you've had to undergo a lot of spiritual, a lot of spiritual like, I want to say just shedding a lot of different things that you've been, I mean, this is probably the most intense pile that I've had going through death, experience, you may experience this. And so I'm sensing that you have influence for a reason. You're here with the light. So you actually have something to say. The hermit card, lots of introspection that it will take in this entire life of getting to know yourself because a lot of people will try to tell you who you are. Page of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Okay, water signs again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy Scorpio, Pisces energy on the board. Virgo. All right, so Page of Wands, your life is meant to be seen from the eyes of a child. Once again, this seems to be a common theme, the Page of Wands. It is being excited about life, being inspired, but from a child perspective. The queen would be more of a mother. So we have the queen of cups. This is something that you're nurturing. Once again, you're in love. There's family. There's people involved. There's lots of love involved. And you could even be showing this to the world. Some of you, very few of you could have thought about reality TV shows. Some of you could have thought about just showing others your life, what you go through. That's for a few of you. But the queen of cups, you're very intuitive. You're very, very connected psychically. So this is actually going to give you a benefit in the industry. So I'm hearing you could be meant to be in the industry. You could meant to bring the light to Hollywood. That's lit. My ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feeling thoughts. So feeling worthy and feeling good about yourself is the biggest thing here that I'm getting with you in, in your path. It's It's been a lot of overcoming, having confidence, having assurance, accepting yourself, undergoing different ego deaths, not trusting people. And people is big. It's like people are a part of your journey and your resources and why you're so successful is people. So it's like, but your biggest challenge also has been that. And so how do you help that is to have a, a better sense of discernment and following your gift of being able to read energy. All right. And then the last card is I'm in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. Like I was saying, you are not on alone and you're going to be guided. And it seems like the universe is more of a parent figure to you to provide, to support you, to give you resources, to give you the role. Some of you guys could want to be actors, actresses, comedians, anything in the entertainment industry. You expressing yourself is so important. So you accepting yourself, you being authentic, you being confident, right? If you know, knew who you were, would you be confident? So discovering who you are is probably the biggest part of this path to success. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. If you're inspired and you want more content to unravel this spiritual gift that you have, you can go to I'mReadyToWakeUp.com. There's hella content there for you guys too if you want to check it out. All right, I'm going to move on to the last deck, deck number four. What's good, deck four? If you guys were drawn to Dr. Dre... This is your reading for your path to success. So out of all four decks, you guys could have been drawn to more, which is fine. But if you were initially drawn, initially, like instinctively drawn to Dr. Dre, you could really be being called to the energy of music. Okay, there are various different aspects of music. You could be called to creating because Dr. Dre was also into business. All right, so I'm get, getting that it could just simply be centered around music. And this is my music artist entrepreneur deck. So if you feel like, again, you could be managing a person. Either way, you are centered around the energy of Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre, producer, beat maker, entrepreneur, almost billionaire, okay, invented beats, headphones. All right. So he got into a lot of different things, songwriting, um, the creation of sound, 
sound, healing, all of that is this deck, okay? So I'm also sensing we have listened to your inner voice through a premium speaker. Your instinct is gonna guide you into this industry, all right? You're gonna be like no one else that the world has seen. Always stay ahead behind the scenes. So a lot of you might be more behind the scenes. You don't have to be in the scenes. You might not even have a desire to be on a stage. Just focus on the parts of music that you enjoy. All right. You guys can also be very connected to just modern day culture, just culture. So you could get into fashion. You could get into clothing. All right. I'm hearing some of you guys could heavily be from California. You don't have to be. I know you guys are all worldwide or maybe have a desire to go to California or Hollywood. And it says, don't keep a finger on the post. Use a stethoscope. So you guys might not be in the scenes as much. You are, could be coming to the forefront. We'll see if the star comes out. We'll see what cards come out for you. Six of wands star card. If those come out, I'm telling you beforehand, then you're, you should know by now that, that you're meant to be doing this. All right, so we have the nine of crystals, abundance, security. So you are meant, we have a lot of masculine energy here. You are meant to be a provider. Doesn't matter if you're a woman or a male, you are meant to be a provider, an abundance, a fountain of abundance for the people around you, okay? Could even want to start a record label, help people, manage people. Um, there's so much that you can do. I sense that there's a lot of security here and independence here for you. You may even feel like you're doing it on your own. We have the Knight of Acorns drive, action, Knight of Wands, something that you're very passionate about. You did it when you were a child. You did it when you were a teenager. If you're a teenager, you're doing it now. You're very passionate about it and you enjoy doing it just simply because you enjoy it. This is what you're here to do. We have the Queen of Acorns. So this is all fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, just overwhelming passion and creativity that you just want to create. You will create many different things. Even outside of music, you may create. All right. I just see music is very important, even if you're drawn to it. So you are meant to definitely be a provider. And I definitely see that you will have a lot more knowledge than the people around you. All right. So let's look at deck four and who I'm talking to for their path to success. It's really going to challenge you to look at things from a different perspective here. Okay. Because you are going to be different who am i speaking to here deck four we have the three of wands okay i see that you're meant to travel the world card you are meant to travel you are meant to discover three of wands you've been very patient with this okay very patient with this but it is going to pay off is what i'm hearing Five of Cups, you've tried a lot of things maybe that did not work out. All right. The Sun card. Judgment. All right. This is your purpose. What you enjoy doing, even as a child, what you did, it was your purpose. It is your purpose. Judgment is here. You're being called to this right now in this moment with judgment. Go ahead and give me one more card for this judgment. Two of Cups, the Magician, all right? This is something you are in love with. There is something you are in love with that you are manifesting, and you are going to get it in this lifetime, okay? This is some powerful-ass energy right here. I've seen the Six of Wands coming through shuffling. This is going to happen very quickly for you. You're being called to do this. You're being called to being creative, okay? This this creativity is is not it cannot be boxed i cannot label every single creative endeavor because that's how many you're going to be involved in you're going to be totally in love okay we also have the magician here you are a manifester and you're aware and you're awake and you know you know that this is what you're here to do and you have to trust that knowing the only card that I see is just how much time you've spent on what didn't work out and fears of doing that again. 
Understand that what you enjoy always works out because you're enjoying it. That's the reward. That's the first reward is enjoying it. The abundance comes from when others are enjoying it. That's why you will be very fruitful is because of whatever you're creating, you're sharing. And your joy, whatever you love to do, your joy is contagious. People want to pay you for this joy. When you're in this energy, you're going to have a lot of inspiration to create. So I'm seeing you being like an entrepreneur and having many. You might not even have to run the business. Other people could be running it for you. You're very happy. You're here to live your dreams. You're destined to do this. You're called to do this. Judgment card. This is the heaviest spiritual deck I have out of the four. You are being called to do this. That's why you love it so much. That's why you have so much fun. Okay, what is this that they're being called to deck for? What is it that they're being called to deck for? Chariot, Cancer energy. It's moving forward. Emperor. We have Aries energy. Okay. We have the King of Wands. So I also see that for you as well. It's crazy because I would have said you and deck three are dating or something because the energy is like the same um that's crazy so yeah you could definitely be um getting married to an influencer or manifesting someone who is also on that same caliber here you're coming up as the emperor yeah i think that wow deck three had the empress so i feel like you guys okay it depends on if you're a masculine this is this deck is giving me a lot of masculine energy even if you're a woman this just means you're hella independent hella confident you could do it all on your own like you have hella masculine energy i feel like most of my guys chose this deck all right lots of masculine energy a desire to provide a desire to care a desire to take care i believe you're going to be marrying deck three <laughs> Kim Kardashian she was the empress he or she it doesn't matter um but they're they also are manifesting a partner so you're manifesting a partner as well with the emperor here a counterpart and you also have the two of cups which is the partner card you also have the king and the queen of wands so this tells me you guys are going to be creating together so whoever this person is they could be a partner to you um but I definitely see that there's a passionate love connection that you're meant to manifest in your success that's part of success for you that's why it's coming up um joy just pure joy and happiness every single day is what you're here to do this is what gets you in this vibration all right so maybe having your own studio in your own house having your own art studio sound studio music studio reiki studio it could be anything okay any type of studio all right last card Yeah, lots of creative energy. You're meant to do a lot of creative things in this lifetime, okay? Even with the Ace of Wands here, it's a new start in you creating your passions, your desires, Page of Swords. So some of this stuff like business-wise or technical stuff you might not know because you're coming up as a Page of Swords, but the universe is giving you everything you need. You're a creator. You are a creator. Passion, love, fire intensity is what's going to light your flame i do feel like you have a twin flame and this flame this torch is like something that you really freaking love to do it's bringing you a lot of security bringing you a lot of abundance technically you don't know what you're doing technically because the page of swords this is your path to success you're here to have multiple an overflow how you're going to do this it does not matter it does not matter how you're going to do this because it's going to happen and just allow it to happen because you're not making it happen. That's the biggest thing with the judgment here. This is a spiritual calling on your life. You're being called to do this because it is going to affect people spiritually, make them feel good, make them come back to themselves. You may not even know the capacity in which your art is going to help the people around you, but you're being called to it. It is a new start. So the other decks, we have the ace, we have the aces. You're the only one who had the ace of wands. Wands, 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 wands. What's wands and acorns? Fire, flame, passion, drive, energy, creativeness. You have this ability to get into the zone and you can create any, you're literally, you won't, your biggest issue is you won't have enough time in this lifetime to create as much as you desire. And even that's not true because you will. But it will really feel like that because 
you will, you will want to get into so many things. And you'll be like, wow, I didn't think I wanted to like have my own energy drink, but I guess I do now. Like it's gonna be so many things. So it's like, just have fun and enjoy the ride knowing that this is bound to happen. How, I pulled two manifester cards for you on how this path you're manifesting. We have, when I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally. Support will surround me and movements will, for, will form. This is true. Joy is at the center of your entire reading. The sun, joy. We talk so much about it, but we overlook what it means. What do you really enjoy doing that you can, you can do forever, forever? And then you have to remind yourself, oh, dang, it's already five? Like, oh, snap. Joy. Once you're in this energy, you become in the zone and you just start creating and boom, you guys, you have a lot of Aries energy too, lots of Aries on the board. And so patience is definitely going to be your biggest best friend. <laughs> um, and that's how you're going to end up loving yourself in this life. The most is just being patient with yourself. Cause you know that some of this is profoundly orchestrated and meant to happen. And so it's, I don't know, it could be a little bit challenging when you already know what's going to happen. Your other manifestor card, when I'm tuned into the energy of abundance, I become abundant. So the energy of abundance, what does it feel like to feel abundant? It feels like giving. You have so much you want to give it. It feels like doing whatever you want when you want and not having to worry or stress. When's the last time you've been in that energy? Spirit wants you to start feeling the energy of abundance. It's like every time you connect with feeling abundant, it's like you're plugging in plugging into you, plugging into you. Oh, I feel abundant. I feel like I have it all. I feel like I, you're plugging into you. So whatever makes you feel abundant, paying all your bills beforehand, paying it two months in advance, that's going to make you feel abundant. There's so many little things that you can do every day. And the more you feel abundant, eventually you're just going to become yourself. And yourself is abundant, literally abundant, rich as hell, wealthy. <laughs> like, can I borrow some money? Wealthy. Like you have that much money in this lifetime that you're meant to, to hear. And you have a lot of masculine energy, which means your confidence, which is crazy because deck three, Kim, deck, she's learning a lot of, they're learning a lot of confidence. You already kind of ha have that. You're also just kind of learning how to nurture, how to go with the flow, not to do so much in the action, not to feel like, okay, I'm gonna go make this happen. I'm gonna go do this, I'm gonna do this. The universe does not work like that. The universe will subtly give you an idea, drop it into your spirit, you'll do it, it'll work. It'll be very easy. So effortless, you forgot how to do it. <laughs> That's crazy. What else is in your life here? Reflection, okay? Really seeing the, the king that you are, the masculine version that you are. I say king, doesn't matter if you're a girl or a boy, because you are meant to be a leader. You are not a follower. You do not follow anyone. You're a pioneer. You may do it on your own. You may be an indie artist, independently signed. You will make much more independently published. All of the money goes to you. You're the emperor. You're the chief. You're the chief Kahona here with the king of wands in this lifetime. Very deep reflections here are required for you to see this. And a sense of belonging is here. Give me another card for the energy of who I'm talking to, the energy. What is the spirit of, thank you. Time for beginner mind, something about beginners. Let you have to, even though you're a leader and you're masculine and you're so independent and you do everything on your own, this is where your feminine energy has to be balanced. Meaning you've got to be open to receiving from others, yes, but receiving from the universe being open to receive guidance other than just you guiding you you will never be able to see from your 3d eyes your physical eyes where you're going years ahead of time you connect to your higher self and your future self and you're able to see and that's through the spiritual eye so you have to be open to receiving help deck four that's going to be the biggest thing because you cannot do everything on your own. Even though you can and you're brilliant and you know how to, you are going to go much further when you have help. And I just feel like you could be marrying someone who has help or bringing in someone who has help. Well, spirit, 
trust the great mystery. So this is a, all a mystery. It's meant to surprise you. It's meant to excite you. This life is meant to uh, electrify you is what I'm hearing. Okay, the deep mystery, the whale, it reminds me of just how deep is the ocean? Well, apparently 95% of this entire world, this earth has unknown species, 95%. So it's like, there's a lot to explore here still. We may have just gotten here. So there's a mystery and it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be exciting and you're getting clues every now and again of, okay, what makes me excited? Maybe if you put everything on your whiteboard of just pictures of what brings you excitement. What image, what, what excites you truly and, and know that that's you. So I hope you guys really resonated with this reading today. I hope that I brought you guys some clarity and support. If you're looking for more rare tarot readings, you can find them at the tarotchest.com. Remember, there's only like 333 of them available every time I drop, etc. So if you can catch them, you can catch them. If not, then you'll catch the next one. So in the meantime, I'm out. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Sending you so much love and light. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Peace.